unfucking believable two Dylan Thomas videos in a row. I, I I take back everything I said. I'll never fucking call him boring again. He's really uh making me eat my words here. Uh Jesus. So, as the uh, title suggests, guys, you know, it really sucks because I was so hype. You know, the Dylan Thomas fanboy that I am. I was really looking forward to his reread of Sonichu. But after uh, getting called out on it for one whole day... He fucking shit-canned the project. What the fuck? Oh, my God. I find this to be an especially hilarious development because, like, it really shows that Dylan does not surround himself with anybody who questions anything that he does. Like, he is surrounded only by yes-men who enable all of his bad fucking decisions because he received the slightest bit of pushback, like, from people who aren't even in his audience. And he just, Thanos snapped that shit out of existence, right? And I'm, I'm devastated by this news, personally, right? Because on the one hand, it is hilarious. It is, it is objectively really fucking funny that it's just like, like, he shit handed as fast as he did after getting pushed back for it. But also, I was going to critique his re review of Sonichu. And the specific reason I was going to do that was because I was going to see, like, well, is this worth $100? Um, and I think we all knew what the answer to that was going to be. But, you know, I was still going to do it anyway because I thought it'd be funny. Uh, and then I was like, Oh, well, uh, whatever. I'll just go back and uh, watch the original and review those. And uh, guess what? Those are nuked, too. I looked across all four of his channels. They're gone. Um, the, him reading some of the quickie stuff appears to still be up. Who knows how long on that? But, yeah, no, uh, Dylan reading Sonichu just off the net entirely. And uh, I'm just like, man, you know, on one hand, again, on one hand, that's good news because... Uh, those videos were ass. But on the other hand, it's like, I was going to make videos about those videos. <laughs> you know, I thought I had some funny ideas, but uh, I guess it won't, wasn't meant to be. Um, in other news, uh, bringing, since we're on this topic and all that, uh, something that I did not cover in my last video because I mainly just wanted to cover his uh, reread of Sonichu is Dylan had another tier on his uh, Patreon that was... Uh, just him being like, hey, for $50, I'll read anything you want, provided that it's not super not safe for work, right? And uh, if, you ha if, you don't, if you want more information on that and you don't know too much about that in particular, a uh, rogue internet man talked about, went really in-depth on that on his, well, not really in-depth, but he went pretty in-depth on that on uh, his last stream on Dylan Thomas. So if you want more information about that in particular, go check that out. He covered it uh, when I did not. So... If you want to be more filled in on that, go check it out there. But, you know, that's gone too now. Just eliminate it. Again, showing that Dylan is having nobody around him who questions any of his decisions. Because, again, like, I don't know how many other people talked about that other than Rogue. But so, to my knowledge, it was just, hey, Rogue was the only one who made fun of him for that. And he fucking Thanos snapped that too. And it's like, holy shit. Like, man, you... You really need to think about these things if you're willing to, to backpedal on everything that you do so quickly. Like, you really need to put a little bit more th forethought into any of your decisions. Which is, it is quite clear that he doesn't. Oh, man. Um, also, <laughs> this he is, he is going full, full, full DSP. Like... Like, I get Dylan was slowly devolving into an e-beggar, but, like, man, it's, it, like, it's not even subtle anymore. Like, I got a recommendation in my YouTube that said, uh, that he literally called it a donation stream. A donation stream! <laughs> like, at that point, just call it a please give me money stream. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. And... I watched it for a little bit, 
and I'm really glad at the point I hopped on because he he was even doing a DSP ism because you know that everybody knows the classic uh, DSP ism uh, when he was on Twitch. Uh, give me give me tips. Don't give me bits. Give me tips because that give that doesn't give the a little bit to uh, Twitch. It all goes to me. He did the same exact shit where he was like somebody asked him about like giving him donations and he was like, "Don't give me donations through YouTube. Go through PayPal because then YouTube doesn't take a cut." Like, fuck, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, I saw that. And I just burst out laughing. Fucking shit. <laughs> And then the guy was like, I don't got a PayPal. And surprisingly, I, Dylan just dropped it after that. If it was DSP, it would have been like, we'll make one. <laughs> oh, shit. And the last thing I want to cover is uh, Dylan has officially renamed his channel. He is no longer Dylan Thomas. Uh, he is the Comics Code. And I'm going to give credit where credit is due. That's not a bad name uh, for his new current content because for people who don't know, the Comics Code was the uh, was a series of rules and regulations that comics had to abide by after World War II, which is what led from the golden era of comics into the Silver Age of comics. It's what led to a bunch of stories of Batman in space and Superman getting, like, the ability to summon ghosts with his minds, as well as make out with his cousin to prevent an alien invasion. Yes, those are both real stories, by the way, from the Silver Age Superman comics, and some of my personal favorites. <laughs> and, you know, Dylan covers now uh, comic book controversies and indie comics. So it's like, oh, he's the new comics code, you know, uh, ushering in... Uh, his own stupid rulings and bylines and all that stuff. So, you know, again, credit where credit is due. Um, for what his new content is, not a bad f new rebranded name to call yourself. That being said, again, this rebrand is pretty much the death of his channel because nobody cares about his opinions on comics. Nobody cares about uh, his comic, The Cyclone. You know what I mean? Other than to make fun of it. You know, it's just not what people subscribe to Dylan for in the first place, and uh, it's just not what uh, people care to listen to Dylan talk about. Of course, these days, nobody uh, cares what Dylan has to say about other anything other than to make fun of him. But so, yeah, guys, that's, that's what's going on with Dylan. Again, uh, I know I rapid-fired a lot of things, but it was just like a lot of shit happened in one day. <laughs> And it, I felt it all hilarious. But, uh, you know, R.I.P. Sonichu Reboot.